everyone. Today I'm going to demo the mini assignment 12 gift challenge. Um, I'm going to be following the uh, Adobe tutorial that is posted on the assignment. Um, but this is just going to be a video supplement to that demo. Um, and it's also probably a little bit easier for those that are visual learners instead of um, the just reading through a tutorial. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to demo the importing a series of photos to become an animated GIF. And then I'm going to demo importing a video to become a animated GIF. So I'm going to do both in this video. But the first one I'm going to do is a series of images. This can be a photo burst from your phone. It can just be a series of photos from your phone. Um, it can be your composite image or your poster kind of animated and come to life, but you need to save each little movement as its own JPEG. And then once you've done that, you can come in and go to file, scripts, load files into stack. Once you get this dialog box opened, you go to browse, find all of your JPEGs that you want to import select all of them at once and then press open so then you see them all here make sure nothing of this is checked and then you press ok so it's going to load actually every one of those files as its own layer um, once this loads you'll see that um, the more layers that you are importing or more files that you are importing it's going to take a little bit longer so i have gif one oops, GIF 10, so I need to actually reorder these. And it works just like everything else. It's the same layer management. Nothing's different about this because it's a GIF. All right, so it looks like all the numbers are in order. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is I need it to animate. So you'll see on the assignment, I ask you to show me your timeline. So to access that timeline, you actually need to go to Window, Timeline. So once you do that, you'll be able to get this box. Um, it might become part of your workspace like it is mine, or it might open up as its own dialog box, which is fine. Um, so the next thing that you're going to want to do is create frame animation. So you just will press this button here, and you'll see that you have your first frame. So your first frame is actually showing the very, very top of your layers panel, so whatever is open. So you can see if I turn this one off, it shows the next one down. So what we need to do now is make it so that every layer is a frame. So to do that, I'm going to come back to my timeline panel and press the little hamburger menu right here to get this box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make frames from layers. So it'll actually automatically do this for me. And I can come down here and press the little play button at the bottom of my timeline and see it played in sequence. And it's actually playing backwards, and if this happens to you like it happened to me, you can come back to the little hamburger menu here on your timeline panel, and just click reverse frames. So now if I come back and play, it's playing in the correct order. So if you're not getting it to loop forever, it might be set to once, and if it is, you just wanna click it, and set it to forever, Press play and make sure that it just continually loops. Once everything looks good, what you're going to want to do is go to File, Export, Save for Web. So this is not just your simple save as, like you're saving a PNG or JPEG. So you're going to Export, Save for Web. Once this box loads, um, you're going to want to go to the preset GIF 128 dithered. Um, so right here, it might just be set on another GIF. Um, just set it to 128 dithered. Everything else should be fine and set. Um, if you press done, it'll just take you back to the workplace. It won't actually save. So you want to actually press save here and then name it underscore with my last name so I know that it's mine and press save and that is how you um, actually go through creating a GIF through a series of images now backing out of this don't save 
I'm going to hide the timeline again, and this is where I'm gonna start part two of the video, where I'm actually going to import in a video that I took on my phone. Um, again, sometimes people might run into some scratch disk issues if you try to load a video that's too big. Um, what I actually did is I ran this through Instagram, so I kind of compressed it, like super compressed it. Um, and I'm actually going to probably need to crop it a little bit more, like take it and shorten it a little bit more once I bring it in. And I'll show you how to do that. So the first thing that you're gonna want, going to want to do is file, import, video frames to layers. So then I'm gonna select my video, open. And I'm actually gonna use these little markers and shorten my video just a little bit. So then you'll see it says from, it changed it from beginning to end to selected range. And make sure that make frame animation is checked. So now I can press play, make sure I get a little preview of it. Awesome. So then I press okay. And then you'll see here, I end up with 55 layers. Um, so there's actually gonna be 55 frames in this animation. So same thing that you just did with your series of images, you're gonna to go to Window, Timeline, and it actually is gonna auto-generate your frames to layers, um, your layers to frames, sorry, tongue twister there. Um, so if it doesn't, you can go to your hamburger menu again and um, make frames from layers. Um, right now it's grayed out because it already did that automatically. Um, so now I'm going to press play, make sure that it plays nice and smooth. And it does. Um, if things aren't moving fast enough for you, um, same thing that kind of goes with the series of images. If you need to kind of adjust the time, like they're moving a little bit too slow, you can come to this hamburger menu, select all frames. Oop, let me stop my animation. So select all frames, and right here is the actual time that that frame is given to be displayed. So if you open up that little menu, you can do other and put in your own amount of time, or select one of these preset um, seconds, because these are in um, intervals of seconds. So if you need to change the time of how long each frame is shown, that's how you do that. And just like we saved the GIF with this series of images, we're gonna go to File, Export, save for web, and then once it loads, you're going to make sure that you do have it set on that preset of GIF 128 dithered. Remember, if you press done, and I'll do it once to show you, it just takes you back to your workspace. It doesn't actually save it. So file, export, save for web. All my presets should still be the same and then I'm gonna press save. Make sure looping is set to forever. Save, and I'm gonna call it Drago Davis 1. And that is how you create a GIF using a video. And I hope that this um, video has been really helpful for you guys. Uh, the last thing that I do want to mention is when I ask for a screenshot of your timeline, I don't need to see all 55 frames. Um, I'm fine with just seeing maybe just this one right here. You don't need to send me multiple different screenshots to say, hey, I had 55 frames. It's okay. Um, I know on a Mac to do a selected screenshot, you can do shift command four. Um, I'm not sure how to do it on a PC. So if anybody wants to help out me and your classmates, um, if you'll comment on this video, um, how to do a screenshot for a PC, that would be awesome. So um, thank you guys so much for watching, and um, I'll see you next time.